What's going on guys? Killer6 back with the base game Moe's build for 2023. I know this one's been a little while in the uh, making, but I had to get all the gear and I farm all my gear legit. I don't mod it in, so it does take a little bit of time. All right, so let's go ahead and get started just by giving you kind of a brief overview of what this build does. It can handle every piece of content in the game. It can mob perfectly. It's like a five-star mobbing build. It can take on the raid bosses. It can it can handle, you know, Hemoforest for members, even though that's not base game, but you can see from the intro that you know this build can wreck and whether you're in iron bear or out of iron bear like as you can see here in iron bear we can absolutely destroy everything on the screen often you can kill like you know five to ten people all at once with this build because the uh, capacitive armature that we have on right now this thing will splinter and hit other enemies so that thing's very strong but we often switch between hell and rails and also corrosive rounds so that we can take on you know bosses that have the armor bar as well so and you can even you know mix and match these you can put one on of each thing on there however if you do that you're not going to get the full effects of this skill specialist bear so make sure that you keep that in mind in terms of the gear that we're using on this build we're going to use a trick unforgiven this gives us 432 percent critical hit damage and i rolled iron bear active railgun damage increased by 150 you combine those two things you get some crazy crits while you're inside of iron bear using railguns i like to use the crit that has the elemental critical hits this thing is stupid we'll use that in this next area to show you how powerful that is i've got a adapting chaos in this one's the times two for my annoyments i you know i, I mix it up a little bit obviously with unforgiven we use the rail gun but this one we use the crits because you know it does that crazy crit damage too with this one we do the after exiting iron bear next two mags have 125 percent bonus incendiary damage now the reason you want to use next two mags on this build is when you hop out of iron bear and you've triggered this effect the cool thing about this build is you constantly regen ammo so for you to go through two magazines it's going to be kind of tricky so you're kind of going to keep this anointment going pretty much non-stop until you switch weapons so very strong in that regard we've got a tig's boom on here it's not really the thing that i'm mostly used but i wanted to throw it on we got the roisin's thorn this pistol is amazing it's like the unkempt herald of the base game we got a tiantina uh, it's it's base game technically so it's on here got a uh, binary crit that has next two mags bonus incendiary damage in case you want to go next two mags and have the binary prefix that means times two on this thing got the kibs worth we got a devoted this one's underrated emp5 so we can run fast i also like to have the vanquisher rocket pod roll on this one for my annoyment that way if i decide that i want to switch to vanquisher rocket pods which these are crazy strong too but if i want to switch to that then i've got a gun that has that anointment on it since it doesn't matter what that gun is you just have to have it in your hands when you pop your action skill then i figured you know this is a good choice for that got needle guns in the various elements got the phase or now the phase or you want to make sure that you use this thing in secondary firing mode and on Moe's where you can constantly regen your ammo this thing is crazy strong especially on this build we regen ammo whenever we deal splash damage so that kind of basically keeps this thing in its ammo pretty pretty constantly up next we got uh phase or and corrosive we also have the no pew pew a very underrated gun the no pew pew is very strong great on this build we got a boom sickle and fire the boom Boom sickle is so strong, man. And this one, it's again next to mag. So you hop out of Iron Bear and you can basically shoot this thing forever. And it does crazy, crazy damage. Lucian's Call, just a good all around corrosive weapon here for you. We do have a times eight Monarch on here in case you want to play around with that. I don't usually use it on Moe's, but it's on there in case you want to. OPQ system, this thing never stopped being good. We got the Super Shredifier. Oh my God, this thing just goes burr. If you've never seen the Super Shredifier, basically what you need to get a Super Shredifier is you need to have the times two on the item and it needs to have the super prefix and if you have those two things then set your gun into bipod mode and you'll say double chain gun down at the bottom and yeah this thing burrs like crazy and then with this build if you're doing damage and you're chucking your grenades and you're dealing some splash damage you're going to keep that ammo regen going so you can just kind of shoot that thing forever next up we've got the ogre i don't really like the ogre that much in borderlands 3 it's decent but it's not going to outperform any of the other guns that i'm showing you we got the hail and both fire and corrosion if i rolled the elemental crits bonus elemental explosions on these things these things will also heal you so one of the things that Moe's suffers from is healing self-healing uh whereas zane and amara can kind of just heal themselves passively without having to really do a whole lot Moe's has to work at it a little bit so things like uh the hail and also the crit those things will heal you as you deal damage with them also you can use uh, grenades we'll talk more about that when we get into the skill tree we got the trevor 
Terminator. This thing is amazing. This is one of the, the strongest shotguns for splash damage in the game. Very strong gun. Got the Rowan's Call. Hit crits with this thing. You're going to love it. One of the best guns in the game. Got the lob in both fire and corrosive in case you want to play with that. The back burner. This thing just absolutely smacks on Moe's. You probably saw, I think probably the first clip in the montage at the beginning is me melting down Haunt. But this thing is just like one shot. You just stand there and hang out. <laughs> it's pretty great. We got the flacker in case you're not scared of explosions. We got a back burner in uh, shock as well. We got the sandhawk in shock, radiation, corrosion, and fire. Just in case you want to play around with those. I didn't bother with a cryo one. Don't really need a cryo one. We got the annex Lyuda. This thing's a times two and it goes burr as well. Again, next two mags bonus incendiary damage and you want to kind of be chucking grenades and dealing splash damage to keep your ammo going with this thing. Frozen heart shield. This thing will uh, freeze enemies when it breaks. It's really strong or whenever you pop your action skill got the transformer shield throw this thing on if you're going to use the back burner because this thing back burner combined with this transformer shield means that you can keep your rocket ammo up and it won't do the uh the shock damage to you so really good combo there all right in terms of the grenades we got the fish slap the hex the nagata the light speed i need to roll the light speed to have a different uh, anointment on it and the gas call and also cloning maddening tracker you don't have to have a cloning maddening tracker i see everybody's like oh you gotta have that on most otherwise most can't be alive blah 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 not true i stay alive just fine with the mervtacular hex or even with the fish slap just gotta watch out for your own fish slaps to hit you but right now i've got the piss grenade on as my main item here this is mostly for when i'm bossing if i'm mobbing i just generally like to throw on the Mervtacular Hex or the Cloning Maddening Tracker. The Cloning Maddening Tracker is the best option. Don't get me wrong. It is absolutely the best option, but it is extremely hard to get. It's just a random thing from vending machines or world drops from enemies. I've never gotten one as a world drop from an enemy. I don't believe. I've only ever seen them in vending machines. Uh, but you can substitute with a gas call and it doesn't need to be a roided gas call. It doesn't need to be a Vindicator gas call. Any gas call will do. Chuck it and run. Same thing with the Mervtacular Hex. Chuck it and run. And as long as you have a point in Russian offensive right here then you're going to get that eight percent life steal you just have to be running in order to trigger that effect all right what else do we got let's uh cover our active shield the one that we've got on right now that's the stop gap managed to get a double turtle on this thing so this thing is really high capacity plus whenever my shield breaks i become immune to damage for five seconds combine that with the safeguards and you just jump and slam and you'll give yourself a shield that gives you 57 percent damage reduction for five seconds and it's a lot of health and safety safety right there class mods i generally run blastmaster for mobbing i will run minesweeper for bosses and as you can see we've got some minesweeper options here i literally just got this one like right as i was recording the intro footage for the video got this from the chest at the end of the proven grounds this one got extra grenades smg damage malin one weapon fire rate two and firing this gagged in two and tour cross promotion this thing's pretty damn good but we've also got one with splash and pistol one with splash and smg this one has weapon accuracy grenade damage this this one's probably the best of the bunch for bossing because grenade damage works with the minesweeper effects so lots of extra grenade damage there we got the rocketeer in case you want to put your iron bear off of the crystal platforms in the guardian takedown and have it work as a distraction while you charge the crystals you don't have to do that with this build though you can just use capacitive armature and basically kill most of the enemies as they come at you while you're charging the crystals inside of iron bear too if you want we also got a raging bear class mod just to keep your iron bear active even longer if you want to do that it's not a great rolls on this thing it's just the one that i got in terms of the artifacts i've currently got on the cut purse launch pad just because it has area of effect damage you don't need a cut purse launch pad on this character i've also got a snow drift if you wanted to you could swap to the snow drift and that way you move faster i really could use some more artifacts on here but i've kind of run out of room as well in terms of the skill tree obviously nothing in the purple tree because this is a base game mo's blueberry punch tree we are capstoned out for short fuse this way we do lots of explosive damage probably the the thing that confuses people the most is why i don't do torque cross promotion you don't need it <laughs> you just don't it does give you extra splash damage but it also has a chance to double your splash radius and what that's going to do is it's going to kill you as much as it kills enemies 
So I tend to just avoid this thing. We got auto bear. Now the, the good thing about having auto bear is you can use iron bear yourself. And then when your timer runs out and it kicks you out of iron bear, if you have auto bear on, then iron bear hangs out and you jump into the turret because we've got one point also in daca bear. And while you're in that turret, guess what? Iron bear gets extra damage. So even more damage for you on this build. Over here in the pumpkin spice tree, we've gone down to experimental munitions and full can of whoop ass now and also uh desperate measures now the reason i like to go this far down in the tree number one is we've got the points to spare and number two this way i get the corrosive sabbat rounds as an option over here as well because like i said when you're dealing with certain bosses like the the final boss of precipice anchor or the hag of fervor and you have to deal with those huge armor bars you want to have something like this so you can convert your uh iron bear rail guns to corrosive damage then in the mountain dew tree we have capstone this thing out for forge this way we constantly regen ammo for all of my currently equipped weapons over here also important is iron bank and specialist bear i kind of touched on specialist bear earlier you want this thing because if you equip two of the same weapons on iron bear it will increase the damage they deal this is a very strong skill we've also got some for the road so when you jump out of iron bear it's just a single point for this thing guys you jump out of iron bear you get infinite ammo on whatever you're shooting this thing is amazing for two things especially well three things especially let's go with three things the back burner so you don't have to worry about rocket ammo which is at a premium in this game and it's great for the sandhawks because those go through the ammo very quick even if you have ways of like regening ammo the the sandhawks will tear through it and then third the Layuda. If you use the Layuda for anything, having this skill is awesome for that. It'll keep your ammo going and it lasts for five seconds. It's a good five seconds of constantly keeping your ammo going. Again, Russian offensive is crucial. If you don't have a cloning maddening tracker, chuck any grenade. Again, I like to use the hex grenade. I think the hex grenade works great with this skill. Chuck a hex grenade and whatever enemies are getting hit by the beams on that thing are going to be giving you some life steal. Redistribution is god tier. You gotta, you gotta love this thing. Obviously, the skill that I didn't talk about about is firing the skagged in this thing is what makes mo's kind of op as hell Th this skill basically is money shot and no kill like overkill wrapped in one those salvador skills that make salvador so good but you have to go down the tree a ways that's a tier one skill right here for mo's firing the skagged in gets mayhem scaling and it gets more mayhem scaling than it probably needs but that's okay i do have guardian rank on but i'll turn it off for the for demonstration purposes for this next area let's go ahead use the uh we'll use the the crit for this next group of enemies and just kind of show you what all this build can do again you saw in the intro what it can do versus bosses i always like to show that at the beginning so you have a good idea of how easily you can go and wreck things but i also want to show you guys some general mobbing too so let's do that now so without even jumping in and out of iron bear you can see that we are keeping our ammo up pretty well even without that so let's switch to something like the super shredifier though this thing tears through the ammo see how it goes through the ammo really fast all right, so let's jump in Iron Bear and back out of Iron Bear. And now watch our ammo consumption. It goes nowhere because we have some for the road. Also, if you're chucking your grenades, like I told you, chuck those grenades and get splash damage, then you're going to keep your ammo going that way too. It also helps if I hit shots because crits will also give me some ammo regen. And I don't know if you guys know this about me. I'm not a great aimer. <laughs> Is aimer even a word? <laughs> I'm not a great aim guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, let's get these guys grouped up. There you go. There you can see the splinter damage. I don't know if you saw that 37 million pop up briefly there. So yeah, the splinter damage is very, very strong. And again, if you jump into the back of Iron Bear, just watch what Iron Bear can do on its own. This is not me shooting. That's Iron Bear just doing its own thing, man. So yeah, that's the build, man. That's everything. That's what you need to know. Iron Bear just tried to troll me with the barrel. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe, tap the bell icon for more. And up next, the final base game character will be Amara. There's just a couple more pieces of gear that I'm trying to get for that. But once I have that, I'll post the video for you guys. If you guys want to download this save file, it'll be for PC only. I'm sorry, console players. There's not a way for me to make a save for you. You guys however maybe if you have a friend who's on pc maybe they can like you know download the save and give you all the gear you know we have cross play on borderlands 3 so that's a possibility all right guys i'll see you guys in the next video y'all take care